Salutation. Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. It's Aaron. Um, before I start with everything, I want to say something. Um, I started this channel. I was unemployed because of this whole year. Uh, this basically this whole thing that happened just destroyed my personal music business, my my music lesson business, and my gigs. It was completely destroyed. And if it hadn't been for my business being totally destroyed, I wouldn't be able to get online and do what I'm doing. I was like, oh, well, I think Jesus is coming. I guess I'm going to tell people about Christ and try and encourage the body of Christ. And um, I'm just a normal blue-collar dude that was having a nice normal life until all this happened. And here I am doing this. I'm no prophet. <laughs> I'm no perfect teacher. I'm no evangelist. I'm no nobody special. I'm just a little shepherd boy. You know, and hey, hey, you, you know, I, you know, I'm just a simple guy, okay? Like, I didn't think, of, I just wanted to be a, encouraging the body of Christ, bringing people to Christ. So, um, that's my background story, okay? And before I talk about my little things, um, I want to remind you, I've got this Discord app. It's called Discord. Please ignore the title of Discord. I know it sounds like we're arguing, but we're not. It's like a 24-7 church. The links are below the video. I've got over a thousand people in there now. And I've got a welcoming team and I've got uh, moderators in there and it's just wonderful. You can do voice chats. You can text people. It's a really awesome way to do 24-7 church yeah, and meet other people. There's <laughs> there's redneck people in there. There's like people that are like sound like doctors in there. There's young people. There's old people. There's everybody in between. You will connect with somebody in there. I promise you at this point. We have got a high volume and, and a, a fantastic team under. It's called the God a Minute Server in Discord. So please check it out. Uh, a lot of people are asking about mugs and shirts and where can I buy that sign? Well, we have this thing called Zazzle. And that's in the links below. If you want to buy mugs, t-shirts, whatever you want to do. Um, we make a very small portion of it. And so far I've donated every dollar that we've made from that. So please don't judge me and say, oh, Aaron's trying to make money. <laughs> it's either going back to this ministry or I'm giving that to somebody else. Um, okay, guys, take out a sick. Come on. I'm just a piano teacher that lost his job here trying to direct people to Jesus. <sighs> All right, and also there's invita invitation cards. If you want to direct people to this channel or the Discord app, you can download the invitation card and uh, hand it out to people to direct them to this uh, channel and to Discord. Because I'm trying to unite the body of Christ. Um, I'm trying to do the prayer nights too. And <laughs> when you try and do this, you get all sorts of people uh, mashing up and going, wait, 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 wait. He doesn't believe 100% what I believe, so... Mark them! Mark them! Alright, so here's the 10 phrases that rip apart the body of Christ. And this is really not a Jesus thing. It's not a Jesus thing. Hmm. Alright, one phrase that... This is the most important one that everybody likes to fight about on, on YouTube. I never really realized this was a thing until I showed up. I, I started my channel September 1st, 2020. And then I didn't realize the culture of this eternal security argument and how actually sad and di di divisive it is so one question that the first phrase is they believe such and such about eternal eternal security well listen um after you come to christ what happens after it does not affect coming to christ so it's not actually an issue to be talking about um if somebody believes they're, they're sealed and you know they can do no wrong that's awesome if somebody believes that uh, they have to keep the faith um, and uh, by just simply believing, uh, by, by the act of a choice, uh, whatever, man, whatever. At the end of the day, person A is, is saved. Person B is saved. Who cares? Take it easy. My goodness, okay? The gospel is Jesus Christ, not what happens after you get saved. The gospel is Jesus Christ, not what happens after you get saved. So do not divide the body of Christ because they believe this and they believe that. Okay, number two. I hate this phrase. They do not divide the full gospel. They do not rightly divide the full gospel. Guys, there is nobody in this world that has ever divided and told you the full gospel. 
ever. No human being can do that. It's impossible to provide the full gospel and divide. When people say they don't divide, if, to me it sounds like they don't agree with what I believe. <laughs> and I just hate that because it's just like, yeah, let's, let's fight. Let's get the boxing gloves on. They don't divide like me. Ah! Nobody's perfect. We're all human beings, man, trying to figure this out and direct people to Jesus. At least hopefully they are, okay? Um, also, I'm proud to say I've never done a rebuke video, and I never will. Uh, I let the Holy Spirit do that. Okay, number three, the third phrase. They set dates, or they share dreams. Who cares? <laughs> it doesn't say in John 3, 16, you know, you got to believe in Jesus and not set dates to be saved. Come on. Actually, for me, it was the dreamers and the people that talked about dates that really got me on fire to really point to me and say, you know what? We're close. And I don't care if their dreams didn't come true. I don't care if their dates didn't come true. Those guys were the guys that pushed me and encouraged me to start my channel. So I love those guys. I I appreciate the dreamers and, and the date guys. I, I, I love them. I don't care how accurate they are and what they're saying. It's just very encouraging. Number four. They. They. They read from such and such translation. The only true translation is da 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 da. Again, Jesus didn't say you have to believe in me and only read the whatever translation. Guys, guys, come on. Hey, hey, come on. Of course, I have certain translations that I like to read, but who cares? Who cares? When we look in our Father's eyes, when we see him face to face in heaven, he's not going to say, by the way, you were reading out of the Amplified Version. See you later. Come on, guys. Come on. Don't be childish. Okay, number five. Oh, yeah. You know, so some people get on there. Okay, guys, I, I, I got to rebuke this person. He did a 45-minute video, and it was all fantastic and everything, and I, he learned a lot of things, and he brought people to Christ. But for three seconds of his video, he said, blah, 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 blah. So completely ignore this guy for the rest of your life because uh, we're going to mark him. <laughs> so, my goodness. It's so immature, actually. Um a mature person, like when I go to a video, I've got the deepest humility. I'm just there to learn something. I have the maturity to recognize that they say something wrong. And on the wrong spot, I kind of go, okay, he's done with the, you know, the wrong spot. But then he goes on to say something super cool. It's like, oh, oh I didn't know that about that subject. Right? So um, you know, I study my scriptures. I pray. I've read the Bible a lot. Uh, um, and I try and stay in tune with the Holy Spirit. Hey, we're, we're all messed up. But don't throw the baby out with the bath water because I said something a little off on three seconds in their 45 minute video. Relax, everybody. Relax. We don't need to be marking each other. Let the Holy Spirit do that. Number six. That's what I was just about to say. This phrase. We need to mark and avoid. No, we don't. No, we don't. That's, that's the job for Jesus. Jesus is going to do that. Jesus is going to separate the wheat from the tares. It's not our job. Our job is to direct people to Jesus. Not to, not to fist fight everybody. Everybody's got to get the right perfect gospel. All the way, man. All the way. Mark him. Avoid him. Avoid him. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay, number seven. Just simply start saying the gospel is blah, 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 blah. The gospel is pre. The, the gospel is this acronym. The gospel is... No, no, guys. No, 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 The gospel is Jesus Christ. Okay? That's the gospel. The gospel is Jesus Christ. It's not all this little fancy stuff all over the place. All right. Um, number eight. You coming in the video? That's my wife. Hi, wife. Number eight, they are preaching works. Okay. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? Uh, 
<laughs> they are preaching works. Now, of course, if they're preaching works for, you know, that's how you get saved. No, that's not how you get saved. But if they're just simply preaching works, that that's actually uh, it's good. What's wrong with that? Jesus preached works. Uh, you know, so if they're like, you should love people. Okay, that's good. That's good. You should repent if you've been, if you've sinned. Okay, yeah. What's wrong with that, right? Like, um, you should do good stuff for people. Yeah, we should do good stuff for people. That's not wrong. Who cares if they're preaching? That guy's preaching works. Ah! Get off the salvation train, guys. <laughs> it's so silly. All right, number 10. They do numbers and, you know, they do gematria. Gematria. <gasps> Who cares? Actually, those guys find a lot of cool things. Um, they think we're in the fifth seal right now. Who cares? Who cares? They don't have the proper interpretation of the four horsemen. Who cares? It's not a salvation issue. Who cares? Maybe in their one hour video of the four horsemen, there's going to be something in there that you're going to be, oh, I didn't know it. I didn't know about that. Guys, I'm trying to bring you to the Christ, to the body of Christ, okay? I'm not trying to bring unity on the full gospel of the Bible, like like the whole the whole thing. I'm not trying to The gospel is Jesus Christ. It's nothing else. It's nothing else. We need to learn how to be uh, advanced Christian ambassadors for Christ. Okay, and that's going to take a lot of maturity, a lot of maturity, a lot of etiquette on social media. And I want to say that my God a Minute community, there's a lot of just beautiful people uh, on my channel. I'm so thankful that I don't have to deal with a lot of baloney. Um, and I thank you for that. I've got a good community here. I, I go to other people's channels and I read their stuff. I'm like, oh boy, they got to deal with a lot of baloney. Oh boy. I'm glad I don't have to deal with that a lot. I have a loving community here and it's growing and I'm, I'm so happy. I'm just trying to direct people to Jesus. I'm a simple dude that, you know, just trying to direct people to Jesus. Our time is short. Let's unify the body of Christ. If you believe in Jesus, you're on my team. I don't care what acronym you want to believe in. You're good with me. You're my bro. You're my sister. I don't care. I don't care. Okay. You believe in Jesus is the only way. John 14, 6. Okay. Good enough for me, man. Good enough for me. Okay. This is my gospel message. A. Admit you're a sinner in need of a savior. Okay. Romans 3, 23. We've all fallen short. Ephesians 2, 8, 9. It's not by works. B. You need to believe in the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. John 3, 16 through 18, right? See, confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. Romans 10, 9 through 13. And you shall be saved. After that, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Okay. Um, we might be in the clouds in a couple days from now. Come on, guys. Life is very short. And there's no time for fussing and fighting, my friend. Gotta see it my way. We can work it out. We can work it out. That's from the Beatles. Uh, anyway, whatever. Mark that guy. He sang a Beatles song. Mark him. Love you. Bye. See you in the clouds.